What's up, beer tasters? It is September, which means it is the best time of year for beer because all of the fall seasonals are coming out, including my favorite, Oktoberfest. So if you're unfamiliar, Oktoberfest is a huge festival held in Munich, Germany every year. Now you'd think it would be held in October, but it actually starts the last two weeks of September and goes for about three weeks. It started in 1810 when Prince Ludwig I married princess, I always get this wrong, Therese of Saxe Hildburghausen, and they just invited all of the citizens of Munich to join in, and they had a big horse race, and it was a good, grand old time. So the beers that they started serving at Oktoberfest were very dark in color. They were like Dunkels, which is a very dark lager, and that's because all beers at that time were very dark. But it wasn't until the 1840s when the more modern day style of beer called Märzins were introduced as the official beer of Oktoberfest. However, in recent years, that's changed even more so. Since the 1840s, the beer has have just gotten progressively lighter and lighter because when you're at a beer fest and you're drinking copious amounts of beer, you kind of want that beer to be a little bit more lighter in style, right? You don't wanna be drinking a very heavy, dark beer. So today, when we're talking about beers associated with Oktoberfest, we're actually gonna be looking at two styles of beer. The first one we call Fest Beer, and that is the beer that you will find being served at the actual festival of Oktoberfest. Fest beers are gonna be gold in color with a really nice malty backbone, but the toastiness going on from that malt is gonna be more like a bread dough rather than like a big, charry, toasty kind of thing. And since the Fest Beer category is a lager, it's going to be nice, clean, and crisp, and really drinkable. You can drink these in copious amounts all day long, although they're not that low in alcohol, so be careful. So I opened up this Vihen Stefaner Fest Beer beer and you can see how light in color it is. This almost looks like a Pilsner, but it's not going to be as bitter as Pilsner. The Germans like their beers nice and malty. So the second style of beer associated with Oktoberfest is going to be that traditional Meritzen style that I was talking about earlier. So Meritzens are called March beers. They're brewed in March, lagered over the summer, and then drank at Oktoberfest. But like I said, not so much anymore. Maritons are gonna be darker than Fest beers. They're going to be more amber and copper in color, and they're gonna have a much like toastier, maltier backbone than the Fest beer. So if you see a beer labeled Oktoberfest, it's probably going to be that Maritzen style. It's gonna be darker in color and have more of that malt richness in the beer. Whereas if you see a beer called Fest beer, it'll be a lot lighter in color and a little bit more lighter in flavor and aroma. So I just opened up this year's Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. You can tell it's a lot darker in color than that Fest beer, and that's because it's a more of that Meritzen style of beer. So if we're gonna go whole Oktoberfest style here, you can tell that the Fest beer is a lot lighter than the traditional Meritzen style Oktoberfest. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite Oktoberfest styles, because if I haven't tried them yet, I definitely want to. And if you're looking for a good recipe to cook with Oktoberfest beer, check out the link below. I've got the recipe for my beer cheese soup that I absolutely love. It is perfect for when the weather just starts getting a little cooler. It's not good for you, but it is so good. Happy tasting, my friends. I'm drinking both of these. I'll see you next time.